good to me? Oh my gosh. <laughs> good morning, guys. We leave for the hospital today. We did wake up kind of late. This time change like just happened. So we woke up at 7 and I wanted to wake up at 6 because there is a good few things that I want to get done. I want this place to be in like tip top shape before we leave and I wanted to do some type of active workout. I think we might go for a run because I also want to come back and fully shower. The emotions have definitely been weird. I feel like I didn't process all of this or like have any sort of emotion towards it until like literally yesterday and it just like hit me out of nowhere like a lot of stuff hit me i've just been getting so much love i feel like i went into this so confident and ready for it and i feel like you guys the people that are truly in my life have been so supportive and it's literally hard to not feel a confident and it's hard not to feel confident and it's hard not to feel confident and feeling so much positivity going into this basically the reason why we kind of need to rush and start getting these things done is because they did tell me that sometime today they're gonna call me and let me know a time to come in so i'm hoping it's not too early because i really need to get my life together in order a little bit it's already in order i wanted to like make sure that everything was good so many emotions so i ran a big circle waiting for montana come on finish good job <laughs> what's your goal i want to go run like half marathon or something this is the last run before surgery and i can barely I can, I can run really slow miles but like my endurance and my conditioning is not that good so after as soon as you're healthy the healthy journey begins I know. okay we just got back inside from our run and i literally just started running i used to run when i was in high school but it was freezing outside and my lungs were like so cold and like deep oh it was such a hard run but i'm glad that i did something because i definitely would have been like oh the one time that i had the chance to do it i didn't so i'm glad that i just did something i'm gonna be laying on the ground just but we're both about to shower i want to deep 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 clean my hair because I just want it to be nice and fresh and I want to have enough time to give myself a blowout so my hair is just clean and fresh because I'm literally not packing any makeup like I'm not even gonna bother even if I'm like feeling good I'm not even gonna like I'm not even gonna be thinking about putting makeup on um I'd rather just have my hair clean so let's so let's go shower because I literally haven't washed my hair in like five days it was the most deep clean shower i shampooed my hair twice i scrubbed my body washed it twice so i should be extra clean for the next couple of days once i get to the hospital like i'm gonna have a lot of appointments that i'm doing today so i just want to be comfortable so i'm probably gonna do like some sort of sweats i got these pants i want to try them on and see if they are comfy Okay, this is what I'm thinking. I literally just got these pants off of Amazon, but this is a, a Skins t-shirt. They're like the same material, so. I definitely feel like I like don't know how to talk in this video because the more I talk about it, the more I'm like, wow, it's like here. I feel like it's really gonna hit me at the hospital. Um, I was calling to let you know that we don't have your room ready right now, so I'll give you a call back around noon to let you know when you can start heading over to the hospital, okay? Okay, yeah, that's perfect. They just called and said that we can start making our way down. So, get everything packed up. Everything ready. I'm not even bringing anything. I'm just planning on coming back. What? You're gonna sleep in that tonight? Yeah. And I'll wake up tomorrow morning and then just come back. <laughs> Or, or not tomorrow morning, but. Wait, you could. I didn't even think about it. You could have brought clothes. You probably should have. I wasn't like I'm not working out or nothing, you know. Yeah, I mean, you could just be like, like you're gonna be at the hospital all day tomorrow. Like you're gonna be in the same underwear, the same socks, like. <laughs> I wasn't thinking about myself. 
I wasn't thinking about myself. Just go, I would just go grab an outfit. One well, outfit? Yeah. Okay. Alright, so, <laughs> I got... Are you going to wear those to the airport? Yeah, those are my I lucky keep, shoes. I keep thinking, like, to say an airport because of the luggage. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, it's a vacation. Yeah. Are you not excited? I am. I'm paying a lot of money for this. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we are. <laughs> And then I'm bringing a jacket because in case they don't give me a blanket, no. I'll still be warm. Say bye. Kio, come on, say bye. Come and say bye. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Look, Kio. Look, she's saying bye. Good, good girl, Callie. Good girl. Good girl. You guys might be able to hear her, but Callie's going crazy. I know, she's sad. <laughs> how do you feel? Did it kick in yet? Because it yeah, definitely I'm kicked in for me. Yeah. I don't want to say how I feel in front of you though, because I want to keep it to myself. I'll tell y'all. Oh. Hey, this is it. Oh, Let's do this. Let's do this. Start of a new chapter. <laughs> Where y'all going? We need y'all fun. <laughs> okay, so we're like five minutes away. I just spent an entire car ride crying. <laughs> oh, it's just it's just hitting me in waves and just like different emotions. So I don't know. It's just like a lot. Don't play. <laughs> Just to give you guys reference, is like we pay like 700 in insurance a month, but that's also because like we knew that I had a lot of like health issues going like into getting new insurance. Um, but uh, get insurance. That's all I'm saying. Bro, I better see some black hole stay. <laughs> some A1. Ryan, this is what we paid. You, you and Dan, but you I'm, left. I'm really getting the service of 200000 <laughs> Is that work? I better see the damn skyline of Miami now. <clears throat> I think we're on the 10th floor. That's it? <laughs> Not my house? So welcome to my hospital room. <laughs> Here you have my sink where I'm gonna brush my teeth and I think this is the bathroom, right? Yeah, I think so. Oh yeah. Okay. Mmm. You got a toilet and you got a shower with a chair in it. <laughs> oh, you've always wanted a little stool or something you in the shower. Sit while I shower. Okay. <laughs> Fancy in here, and then this is, I guess, an extra chair, and then this is my hospital bed. Mm. Nice and clean. And this is Ryan's bed. <laughs> Damn, but look at the flat screen TV. Like Yo, she's been talking about the bachelor being like, I hope I get all my appointments done. Hi. Okay, so they just came in and gave me a goodie bag. Yeah, they so. also started hooking her up to. Yeah, so we have like. So I'm basically on like a heart monitor. Yeah, she's gonna be doing all of her tests tonight. So yeah. So this is like fully pre-op. It's real now. Yeah. It's real. Yeah. So. And I've never like stayed at like the hospital. Yeah, overnight it's gonna be uh. Yeah. Different. So we're pretty settled in now. There's gonna be a lot of people coming through here. To she's got like seven different scans. Some scans we didn't even know that they're gonna have to do different things like that. Uh, this is like the whole like pre-op process. She's gonna get all these scans done. That's kind of why we're here tonight. Like we don't know how late this is gonna go. Like I'm hoping they can knock it all out quick. Yeah. Cause like the way she was just saying, like it's I, like I'm eight fucking scans. I'm having a CT scans. scan and an MRI. I know, MRI crazy. alone is is an hour. I know we might be doing scans till like two o'clock in the morning. Any appointment you ever gone to, she usually was about thirty minutes. Please don't get up. The care team has been called. Please don't get up. The care team has been called. Oh, fine. Please don't get up. 
The care team has been called. She wants me, she wants me to stop peeing and then pee. You can't do that? No. I'm going to be my pants. I'm about to put on my uniform, but first I have to pee in a cup. I'm shitting in here. What? <laughs> I almost overflowed the cup. I just stop myself. <laughs> and then I had pee all over my hand. Ugh. I know, I'm strong. Can you help me? Everybody always be saying she don't need you to dress her. Yes, she do. <laughs> don't touch the bottom. Hi. Montana Ryder? Yes. Okay, I'm fine. I'm going to do a chest x ray, okay? Okay. Yes. And come back. Put your head all the way back. Kiki, you okay? okay? Thank you. You okay with showing your breasts? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tea tea time. It's <laughs> a lot. Yeah. Everything in one night. Yeah, yeah it's a lot. Like, you alright? Mm -hmm. You alright? Yeah. Whole lot of chaos right now. <sighs> I get this in the bed. Whole lot of chaos right now, but. We got a few more of the bigger exams coming up, and then you get to watch your bachelor. Yeah, I'm just a little sad. Why? Just like seeing us like this. Alright, don't be sad. Everything's meant to happen. Yeah. Everything's where it needs to be. We're in the exact place we're supposed to be in life. Don't cry. You don't make me cry, don't cry. I just, I just feel like I, I think like me like laughing and smiling is like just my way of like not crying. Yeah, no, I and that's how it, if shit is, if that's how shit is, you know? Yeah. I just don't want to, like, make it out like I'm not. Like, I'm just, like, fine. It's, it's okay to cry. Like, it's okay to not be fine. I know that's, that's our way of, like, going myself. about things. Like, just crack jokes or, like, just smile through it. That's how we've yeah. always been. But, look, I'm right here next to you. I know. You're going to get these tests done. Yeah, they said that, that it may not be until tonight. I love you. Thank you. It just shows your strength. Just look, you're gonna look back on this and be like, I went through that. You're gonna look back on this and be able to tell your kids, like, Your mama went through it so she could have you. Wait, that actually is gonna make me cry. Let's not talk about that. I was literally thinking about that in the car when we were coming here. Like, it hit me that, like, you're doing this so we can have our first baby. I'm being honest. Yes, everything is for your health and, and so that you can get your hormones right and because you have imbalances, like, I'm crazy right now. That's causing all these things to you, like, all, all these symptoms that you've always, always have said and have to explain to yourself to people to, to add all of that together you're also doing this to have a baby to be able to have a baby because mm -hmm. it's restricting you from having a baby you can't have a baby so it's like when we do have our baby it's like you're gonna remember these times and be like you're, you're gonna realize your strength when we have our baby our first baby mm -hmm. i love you mm -hmm. thank you thank you Thank you for being strong. Sometimes I feel like I haven't been though. You have been. You're here. Uh, I love you. I love you. You've never signed up for this life. You know, I'm supposed to be exactly where I'm supposed to be at. Exactly where I want to be at. I like you do have you. I don't know where I would be without you. Like, I feel like you're my strength. Like, you and God are my strength. We have some snacks. Okay. This is the blood work now. I'll do anything in the world but give blood. Uh, I told you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, that's that's a lot of bottles. That one's the, this one's better? You have to fill all those up. What? You have to fill all those up. Wow. Most you've ever known? Yeah. You see? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just casually eating cheeses after she took a pint of blood. I the, swear that was, that was not a gallon. No, not a gallon. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> that wasn't even my pint. So Montana just left for her MRI. I love her so much. I love that I get to witness how strong a human being can be. And I get to call her mine. I think it hit me this morning that this is such a big thing all came on me this morning that this has to do with like our future family i feel like i've been just like focused on her health because like that's all i've been seeing is like such the bad days of her 
literally almost passing out my arms, falling, just falling onto me in my arms. And then the anxiety that comes with it, knowing that something is inside of you, it builds an insecurity because like she's, she, she doesn't feel healthy. So that alone makes you feel down about yourself. Then she it has to do with her hormones and it causes the acne and the weight gain. And even though as outside people, you can't see what somebody is going through mentally, internally, we've all been there. We all can say that, that what you go through internally, people can't see that. You look at yourself completely different than how somebody else views you. To see her still rise herself up and be the light for everybody and even me is admiring. The anxiety definitely hit me today. Realized how strong it was gonna hit, hit me right, right before we left. And I like, I like had this, it was like a rush. Your mind is, you know, it, it plays this game on you. I know everything's gonna be great and I know she's gonna do amazing and everything is gonna be, we have the best doctors in the best facility. I, I can't ask for anything more, but it's still just that thing of like it's surgery, you know? And that's my, that's my love, like that's that's my 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 other half. And I just it's just a scary it's just a scary thing to be on the outsider too. The doctors said that they're gonna be taking her at like five AM. It's ten twenty right now. So they're gonna be taking her at five AM, like and I don't know how long she's gonna be gone. They not they they said it, this type of surgery all just depends on the doctor. Like is they're working on your brain. I right, should get to bed, right? By the time she gets back up my bed will be ready, so back from my MRI and I'm exhausted. I think it's like 11 o'clock right now and I still have to take a shower because I have to like wash myself with this surgical scrub. So I'm gonna do this really fast. They like had to come and wrap my arm. Um, I have no idea how I'm gonna shower myself because I like refuse to bend this arm because it hurts. So I'll see you guys when I'm showered. I just got in the shower. I need to sleep. They gave me two gowns to wear, like, one in the back, one in the front. Game changer. He told me I didn't have to wash my hair. Thank God. That's my night routine. Okay, guys. I'm about to lay down and kind of go to sleep. To be honest, I don't know how long I'll be asleep for because literally in, like, 20 minutes, I have to come in here and start my IV. And that's when they, like, they give me stuff to relax, but then they start hydrating me because... I can't eat or drink past midnight all the way up until I'm done with surgery. I'm about to put some like blankets on him. I basically just packed up her bag and laid out like my toothbrush and my brush over there so that I could like quickly do it in the morning because she said that we're starting our day at like 5.50 or something like that. Yeah, I'm probably gonna just turn on a movie and chill and lay down because she's gonna be like in and out of here taking my vitals all night so i don't know how much i'll actually sleep i'm gonna put some blankets on ryan i really hate having this thing in my arm it's literally the worst i'm clean i got all my appointments done i do just want to say that my pain right now is none. I had, I did have a headache and she gave me Tylenol, but I do just want to be like open and real about all of this process. Like obviously like I'm sharing it, so I want to be as like out there as I can be. I'm definitely, like every time I go to talk about it, I feel like I'm like, like something in me is like stopping myself because like I know how emotional I am. And it's like I sit here and I just like laugh it off. Like I, I am like scared. But then I guess it's just different because I do feel like some sort of like she came here and I don't know if you can see like the I'm on fluids now and I, I'm on my heart monitor and then she just gave me something like to relax me she was like if you don't need it then you don't have to have it and I just think like I have a lot more anxiety than I thought the thing is is that like
been really like what I'm thinking about is that like like I'm telling myself like I don't like have to like hide my feelings because like I know that like I'm gonna be fine like I know I'm gonna be okay and like I I just have like so much confidence that everything is gonna go so good and I'm like putting out in the air and even like the people that I do have around me like my closest friends and Ryan and God that's why I feel so confident but there's like obviously this part of me that is like I'm just a girl I think these are the times that like having a parent like you guys get it and like I can't talk about it because I just get like too emotional and then Brian is everything and more so I'm, I'm lucky I'm way beyond lucky to have him and it's just like a lot of different emotions but we have an early day and I don't want to end off this video like sad or anything a lot of it is like a good feeling and just like a long time coming of just like so so much darkness i've never even spoke about and i'm just ready i'm just ready for it all i don't want to continue to like babble on i love you guys so much i'll see you guys tomorrow for surgery but y'all will see it in the next video work work out peace